40% of the world's energy is used to produce steam, which powers many industries. However, leaking steam traps can result in as much as 20% of steam produced being lost. Many customers like you are turning to Pulse Industrial's wireless remote and continuous monitoring solution, which use sound and temperature analytics to track the health of steam traps. Today, we are going to show you just how easy it is to install. The installation process does not require you to interrupt your production line or alter your traps in any way. Before you begin installing, make sure you have the proper personal protective equipment. You will also need the following equipment. An infrared temperature gun, phone or camera, and two hose clamps per steam trap. In your shipment, you will find pulse steam trap monitors, a LoRaWAN gateway, a LoRaWAN rangefinder, and magnet reset device. First, you will place a gateway in a central location. Plug the LoRaWAN gateway into a 120 volt power outlet, and place the gateway 5 to 7 feet above ground level on a stable platform. Then, position the antenna at a 45 degree angle to vertical. The gateway will be used to collect the data from the pulse monitors and transmit it to the computer set up with the pulse view dashboard. Record the location of the LoRaWAN gateway in the Excel installation record sheet. Once you've plugged in the LoRaWAN gateway, take the LoRaWAN rangefinder and move to the location of the first steam trap you want to install a pulse monitor on. Turn the rangefinder on by toggling the on-off switch and hold it next to the steam trap. To test the gateway for connection reliability, press push button 1 to check for signal strength. A value between 0 to negative 91 dBm is considered strong signal connection, and a value between negative 92 to negative 300 dBm or lower is considered weak. Signal strength may impact device connectivity to the gateway. Record the dBm value for each trap onto the provided sheet. Before installing the pulse monitor on a trap, use the infrared temperature gun to take measurements of the on-pipe steam and condensate temperature and record them on the provided sheet. Mark any failed traps onto the provided sheet as well. To install monitor, place one clamp on the condensate exit side of the steam trap and another on the steam side. Most pipes will have arrows clearly showing the direction of the steam. Ensure that the microphone has a clear line of sight to the steam trap and is no more than 5 inches from the steam trap for optimal sound measurements. Do not tighten completely. Carefully slide the pulse monitor's foot under the clamp on the condensate side and the temperature sensor under the clamp on the steam side of the steam trap. Tighten the clamps around the temperature sensor and the main unit. Careful not to over tighten and risk damage to the foot. Record the last four digits of the pulse monitor's sensor ID located on the back of the sensor in the provided sheet and fill out any missing information from trap tag, pressure, location, and pipe size of the steam trap. The information is crucial for us to monitor your steam systems effectively and accurately. Finally, take a picture of the installation with the steam trap tag, steam trap, and pulse monitor clearly visible and send it to the Pulse customer success team for review. Repeat these steps for the remaining pulse monitor installations.